Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get through the Arcane Labyrinth. More on the hard side than the normal. I'm going to be showing you my strategy through the Arcane Labyrinth and hopefully give you a bit. Please remember if you like these videos, drop a like and subscribe is always very much appreciated. Without further ado, let's get into the Arcane Labyrinth. So, generally how I play the Arcane Labyrinth is I generally go for battles all of the time just to build up my characters for when I actually get the main boss at the end. Because the hard mode can be exceptionally difficult. This is my best team. I don't have the best buffs on the top left hand screen because I don't have three of the same faction, but it doesn't really matter in stage one of the labyrinth. I would say if you're doing stage, if you're doing the hard mode, then it's better to do all the battles. If you're not, then don't worry about it. You can skip. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take the 40% factional damage advantage. And I'm going to do this from the perspective of as if there's new people as well. So I'm going to go to the abandoned wagon. So if you go to this, this then allows you to pick a new hero that will appear along the way. So I'm just going to pick this guy. Now please be aware, I think from my experience of playing that, in the abandoned wagon, if you actually pick someone and you use them, even though they're a lot higher than the other heroes you may have, they may not actually be stronger because in other attacks will be, and the defense naturally, I don't, they don't have any armor on, so your other heroes could actually survive longer in battle than they will anyway. So it is kind of more of building up your team if you don't already have a big quite a lot of heroes that are 200 and legendary i'm just doing these first few just showing you how i go through them but i think i'm gonna probably skip through some of the battles maybe speed them up a little bit just so we can more into other areas of the arcane labyrinth and show you some of the other options that you have so the very first few beginning bits you're not really near anything and i have more intelligent heroes so, I wouldn't normally do this, but I don't need it, but I'm going to show you the Fountain of Vitality. So what this does, it just heals 50% of your health for all heroes. Now, the difference between the left flag and the right flag here is the right flag will be the harder, but it will give you a better relic once you complete the battle. So I would suggest always going for the harder battle in the first two floors of the lab. Yeah, so that one's done. These ones, they're a bit tricky to take, deal more damage, blow your HP falls. We're probably going to be over that, to be honest. The others don't really need to not really benefit me. Again, here I could go right, but I don't need it, so I'm going to go left. We have more light bearers, usually, so I'm going to go for the light. Again, we got a nice harder battle, but it's Probably going to give us better relics. And you can see from my heroes, I'm not really losing much health at the moment because the amount of damage and defense that you have in this level compared to the other is really simple. Level 2 is not that hard. Right, here we go. So, because I'm going to go to hard mode here, Heroes Hope is the better option. Increase attack range by percent. You will need that if you're going to do hard mode. Okay, now. It always gives you this option when you get to this section of the floors. I don't need it either, but I'm going to show you Mystic just because you can see it here. So effectively what Mystic does is it will revive a random hero within your team if there is any that are actually dead. And actually have any, so it won't actually do anything. But that's what it will do. Okay, the final battle of the first floor. Not too worried about this. And then we will shift you there. Because if you have them the opposite way, they're stronger against me. You see, I'm 1930. Now, although the guy with the swords in the middle on that side, he is a bit of a nightmare. I hate him. He can be quite strong, actually. And he can wipe out teams pretty easily, but again, first floor, not going to worry too much. And the boss battle on each floor gives you better relics, except from the last one, which is the third, because then you've actually completed the library. So you get 50 gems. 30,000 coins, 33,000 
I'm not sure the color actually, but it's for leveling up your hero. And now here's some legendary relics. These are the ones you want. Now, they're all good, but for me, definitely Embrace is the better one you could ever pick. Probably the best one you could ever pick, in my opinion. Because enemies with lower than 15% are automatically killed. So I would pick that in any circumstance, no matter what. So I'm going to skip through to this floor. Now, I'm probably just going to zip through this floor pretty quickly just to get to the main, get to the top. But we're going to miss the fountain just because we Right, normally I would go right here just so I could go to the carriage there and then go to this spot just because then I would get an extra battle here rather than losing two. I don't want to lose one. But I'm going to go this way just to show you the boy that's going to skip through the next one as well. But I've noticed I just dropped a legendary relic, just depending on the betrayal. At the beginning of the battle, if an enemy is dealt damage, their allies will also be dealt damage. And this is really good actually. So I wasn't actually going to show you that battle, I was going to get to the sledge, but. Uh, I'll take that. So, Fountain, we already know what that does. Then we got the room. Here we go. So this is a, basically, the sledge will just give you a chance to actually buy armor. But to be honest, you can actually get better armor in the store. There is actually no point in buying this. You can advance on it if you want to, but I would just abandon. It's never worth actually buying, I don't think. Never done one way, I would say. Yeah, I'm going to buy one of these because. You will always find armor in the store. Like you'll actually just get it from your chest when you log into the game anyway. So in my opinion, it's just not worth Okay, I picked haste after that battle because when you when you increase your haste, you get more damaging. Oh dear, look at my look at my uh, health there. My health's not doing too good here, guys. I don't have a Ooh, yes, the, the Reaper comes in so handy in these situations. If Lucius puts shields up in there, that helps with the 15%, it's still going to wipe them out. So, I cannot fathom how much I love that rally. Go Reaper! But, thankfully I had Lucius on there and Belinda who can give me some health back. Ooh, another Legendary, we'll take that anyway. I'd say I always pick Legendaries over the, the other ones. If there's one legendary in there. You can see I've I've kinda I'm kinda skipping the wells and the carriages because I'm going into hard mode so I want as many relics as I can get. If you are not gonna do the hard mode yet, which could take a while anyway, uh, I won't say you'll be able to do it at the beginning because you're gonna need more more people, more heroes. And so I would, you can skip through things, you know. But where is the hard mode? I think it's more difficult, so you need to do as many battles as you can before you get into hard mode. I know there is a thing called Jura's Tears, which I'm going to show you at some point in the third floor, because I will probably need it. I know it seems like I'm zipping through these with no problem at all, but as soon as you get to the Third floor, it changes on hard mode. Normal mode, not so much. Oh yes, cast a protective shield. There we go. A nice little relic uh, fountain here. Thank you, you my team. So, oh, we've got a three star ascended. This is going to be tricky, actually. I'm going to move you down there. So, uh, apologies for the sniffing, guys. I'm hay fever. Horrendous this time of year. Oh wow, all those reapers came out at the same time. That does not happen often. So, ooh, what do we take here? We're going to go for a raise defense. I think we already have one of those on, but it's difficult. Okay, so the left hand side, the blue the blue portal will take you to the normal third floor. The red one will take you to the half third floor. Now, the third floor is the last of the levels, so I'm just going there. I'm going to go hard mode. This summer looks like this in hard. In normal, it looks exactly as before. Okay, so. I don't have any enemies down, so I'm going to go to the fountain, use it, may as well. Now we have a carriage here to the right, the dark wagon. There's only one of these. So you have to defeat a boss, it's really high level compared to you. 
and it can be any hero at random. But they are really strong, and in my opinion, I don't think you need to bother with them because they're not as strong as some of the other people you have. Fair enough, they're a higher level, but I honestly say can say I have never really used that because I think you can get through without it. And these, so I mean, level jump, I was almost a thousand higher than the other. Now I'm only 400. There is a bigger, bigger jump when you get to this level. This is where I'll struggle, probably. And this is where the Reaper comes into play. Look at that. Absolutely rinse that team with those Reapers. I mean, he got up. So, I mean, it's, it's extremely difficult in ammo, even, even for the level I'm at, because it will always, it's always going to go up. So, no matter what level you're at, no matter what your hero is at, it will always base it at where you're at. So, and there is a lot more harder battles. So you've got five of the same faction, which means they get a lot more defense buffs and attack buffs. Ooh, now we're doing quite well. Ah, uh, Shimira. Shimira is one of my favorites. I would advise, if you can, always get a Shimira. And level her up. So I mean about this whirlwind guy. He's an absolute nightmare. He's tough. If you can get one of him, I would advise using him. So there is my first defeat. Uh, we're going to carry on going. I always like to just carry on with as many of my heroes as I can, just to... Okay guys, so I haven't actually got any further, I've tried a few more battles and I actually didn't get anywhere. So this is what I mean by you will get to a point where you will meet Jurious Tears probably in our mode. So Jurious Tears is on the bottom down here and all it does, I have 24, you generally get one of these out of every weekly chest if you complete the weekly challenges so you will get one. And you can go through them quite quick depending if you go hard or normal, so try and get a stack of them. At least 10, just in case. So before I have used four in the uh, hard mode. So when you click confirm, that will then bring all your heroes back and it will give them full specials as well. So as soon as you load into a battle, you're going to put you there. I'm actually gonna put out Rosling, so I've got a bit more of a, a boost up here now. Uh, so I get plus 10 attack and HP. Now this should be very interesting. I think I should be able to wipe out a couple here. There we go, there's, there's a few gone. Lucius survived! Ooh, that's close. I haven't got the relic where you generate elf out of you've got over 50%. Oh, I talk about it and there it is. So, Sunstone. You want this one every time. So, Ally Nero's 50% elf on more will continuously regenerate elf. Okay, now, the only difference compared to the normal bird floor and this bird floor again is Favor of Treasure. This doesn't appear like the Dark Wagon either. So this one, you can actually go in. And what you have to do is just face this guy and once you kill him you get more Arcane Labyrinth points that you can spend in the store, stuff like that. I honestly, he's very tough. So if you look at the power at the top, he is really, really tough. And it can wipe you out. It's just like doing your guild guy every week. Now, I use this just to get me through an empty space without actually having to do another battle. So this is my little, I will not say hack, but it's like a little tip. So what does I do? It's put out all my weakest heroes, send them into battle. They generally get wiped out and won it once he launches his attack. So there you go, won it on each. See you later. Price stretch managed to get out special. But there we go, defeat, but the cave then goes. So you don't have to actually. 411,000 penny of ascended heroes here. Okay, so now I am, uh, let's just say, probably out of my league. So I'm going to need Jurist tears. 
just to get all the specials. Now this could take several goes actually. But if I can get one, I can get rid of one, and that really benefits me. So hopefully I can get rid of one with just this team here. Now the team is a very, very defensive team. So we've got Tassu's defensive, Krish puts him to sleep. Rowan will build some more specials. Fox takes away shields. Ooh, we came close. We didn't do too bad. I'm quite happy with that. So who do we have left? So I go back in. Right. I would say there's a mixture here. So it doesn't really matter what we put out. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with you there. I'll go with a lot more brawlers. So again, brawlers and wilders. Still weak. But some of these will have supers. No specials. I say super. I've played too much Destiny. <laughs> but specials are really good. Specials can really chip away at people. Especially if they have no one that's going to give them health straight away. Then you can actually take health off. Look at that. Now really low with them. Which then gives a chance for my next set of people. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go Graveborn, I think. So, oh, if I've got enough of them. I don't. Okay. We've got a mixture of, of rubbish, really, but we'll try our best. Okay. I'm probably going to have to use a Jura's Tears after this, this little go. That was enough to get rid of Brutus. Okay, we got rid of two people. We got rid of two people in that round. What's that mean about Jura's Tears and Specials? That was actually a lot better. We got rid of two. We got rid of three. Wow. So the Jura's Tears buff relic really helped. Okay, I think I can take this guy out with what I've got left. This guy sends out Mask of Attacks. He's going to knock him down. This guy sends out Stream of Attacks. This guy's good. I think I can have him though. I think I'm going to have him all these and the Reefer dude that comes into play. Wow, his elf did not budge, really. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. I don't really want to use another Jura's Tears when there's just one dude left. Yes! Come on! We managed to only use one Jura's Tears to get 200 gems. It's really good. 49k coins. Going for the Labyrinth points. And then, he's got Tire Wars, which are not that good, but you do need more. And there we have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the Arcane Labyrinth video, I hope you learned a few things if you didn't know them, and for everybody who did, I hope you just enjoyed the video really. So thank you very much for watching, I shall catch you in the next video.